Hey, how you doing? It's Michael from Core Evolution. It is Monday afternoon. Uh, we got boot camp again today, 6.30 live. Uh, today we have Carmen. And we have a new face, Adrina. She's here, she usually takes our morning classes. Uh, and so again, we've been telling you guys uh, at every class we've been doing that if you're willing to come in and join us for our boot camp, for our virtual boot camp, we'd love to have you guys. If you're a current fitness family member, we'd love to have you. And someone was brave enough to join us, so Adrina's welcome Adrina. Uh, we appreciate her coming in and doing the workout. Uh, she's a little nervous, but um, she's been, uh, been taking our classes in the morning for a long time. She has been following along uh, on her own, either live or watching the YouTube uh, posting that I've been putting up there. So it's not like she hasn't been doing this before, so she's been doing good, but she wants to come in and do it live. So appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Okay? Like I said, guys, we're going to be doing uh, lower body today. We always like to start off the week with lower body, at least I do, uh, because usually the first day of the week, we're the freshest. And you know we can hit our big body parts as far as our quads, and our hamstrings, and our glutes, uh, and get them nice and done out of the way, and set the tone for the rest of the week. So, without further ado, we're going to start off with the warm up as always. We're going to go with uh, we're going to go with time for this time for this one. So, start off with our jogging in place, and then we'll go from there. So, 30 seconds, and here we go. So, our jogging. So again, guys, just warming it up, getting that blood flowing, getting the uh, you know getting the joints moving and stuff. If you have a different warm that you want to do on your own. That's fine, whatever works for you. Uh, but this is the one that we, that we do here. Sometimes we'll do it for time, sometimes we'll do it for reps. Whatever it is, we just want to get the body moving, okay? Especially before we get our lower body. Definitely want to get this one done. Alright, and let's go with our jumping jacks now, so jumping jacks. And I was watching the news again today. Um, they are talking about, uh, you know, obviously they opened up bookstores and sorting good stores. Um, some of the malls are open all up for you know, curbside delivery. Heard some of the Apple stores are going to be opening up. For, uh, you can actually go inside. Um, restaurants, uh, still the curbside delivery, takeout or whatever. Um, they have not said anything about gyms. Obviously, the nail salons want to get involved and opened up. Same with barber shops, hair salons. Uh, we'll go with, let's go with the Heine. The Heine. Uh, but we haven't heard anything about gyms. So we know that some gyms are putting stuff out there on YouTube as far as protocols that they're going to be following um, and we're kind of kind of stuck right now because we really don't know what's going to happen they haven't said anything they have talked about gyms being in phase three but they have not said when phase three is going to be starting so we're trying to like I said develop our own protocols and our precautions to make sure that you guys stay safe uh, when you're in here and obviously when you go home to your family so let's go with butt figures butt figures so we'll have stuff written up. We might have some things changed up in the gym just a little bit to make it a little more social distancing. Um, but whatever we do, we'll make sure that whatever it is, it's gonna be safe for people here in the gym and for your families when you go home. So just know that we are getting stuff set so that when we do get the, the word that we can open up, we're gonna be hitting the ground ready to go with the ground running. Or lunging, whichever we do. Whatever. All right, now we're gonna go with some air squats. So let's go with some air squats now. Nice and easy. Let's go. And again, we're doing the squats, guys. Like I always tell you, the knees follow the toes. So wherever the toes are pointing, that's where the knees need to go. Good day, Good day, Oh, awesome. Nice and easy, guys. We're just warming up. We're just getting the blood flowing. We're gonna go with our walkout stuff. So no push up, just walk it out. You can bend your knees, you can keep your legs straight, whichever you want to do, it doesn't matter. Awesome. Now they did open up the parks and somewhat of the beaches and stuff like that. Take advantage, guys. Take advantage. Whether you want to wear your mask out there or not, whatever, get outside. Get some of that vitamin D. Get going. All right, so we're going push-ups now. Push now we're going to push-ups. But get outside, guys. Go hiking, go on the trails, go to the park. Do whatever it is, but get outside. All right, let's go. So you notice Prime is doing a lot of toes. Adrena's on her knees. Either one is acceptable. Just keep going, guys. Whatever you got to do, whether you're strong enough to do them on your toes or you're working your way up to go to that position, you start off your knees. As long as their backs are flat, their abs are tight, their core is tight, and their hands are in a good placement, that's perfect. Pull our back, pull our abs a little bit. So that's 
perfect. Start with our legs up 90 degrees. So legs up 90 degrees. All right, hands up over the face. We're gonna reach up, we're gonna grab that ceiling. So the point is we're trying to control our lower back and our lower body. Keep our legs still and our hands here. We're gonna reach up. We're not gonna tuck our chin, but keep your chin up. Reach up, grab the ceiling, and then come back down. Keep your arms straight. So here we go, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Two things here you want to remember. Keep the lower body still so the lower body is not your legs aren't going out straight, they're not coming in, the knees stay over the hips, and keep your hands over your face, number two. That way they'll right up and they come straight down. 10 seconds. Three seconds. And time. Okay, head to the fall of the back, and pour lower out a little bit, so legs out straight. And here we go, little server kicks. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. And with these again, hands into here. You don't have to, if you want to, that's fine. Just help support your lower back a little bit. You can put them out to your side, either one. But make sure the legs stay straight. Point those toes back so our knees are locked. And only want to keep them about one or two inches off the ground. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Get some water. Now your shoes bring your shoes tight already. Be careful. And you guys get some water out there. We're gonna grab our dumbbells and we're gonna go right into it. Um, on Saturday's workout, we had the technical issues with my 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 gimbal, my controller for my camera. Um, I was able to splice the workout together. The warm up isn't the best, but the actual workout, as far as the active recovery for the foam rolling and for the stretching, is intact. So uh, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, go ahead and check it out. Some great tips on the stretching and the foam rolling. Uh, and again, that's something you should be doing every day, regardless of whether you work out or not. The stretching, whether it's the hips, hip flexors, quads, the glutes especially, uh, your lats, uh, that's something you should be trying to stretch out every day, whether it's in the morning, after you wake up, or before you go to sleep, or when you're watching TV with the family. Get it done, get it in. It's gonna be super beneficial to no matter what you do, whether it's working out or whether it's your normal daily life, it's super helpful. So try to keep, uh, try to, Incorporate that in your daily routine. But anyways, the workout's up on up from Saturday. Tonight's workout will be up later on tonight. So, uh, so check them out. Okay. All right. Ready? Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. We're gonna go through four different exercises, all with the lower body. Okay. And then after that, we're gonna incorporate some abs. We're gonna do four exercises for the legs, lower body and then do some abs, okay? We'll do one circuit of that, and then we'll walk up there. So the first things first, we're gonna go with our normal step ups, okay? So a regular step up. We're gonna step up with the right foot, and then up, and then down with the left foot. So up with the right, and down with the left. All right, you guys? Ladies, ladies. We're gonna go 45 seconds. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Down with the curve. And as they stand up, their foot is solidly on top of the box. They are touching the box with their left foot, which is fine. You don't have to. If you don't want to, you can if you want to. But they're going up under control. They're not falling over. They're not out of balance. They're coming up under control. Dumbbells are hanging down nice and natural. And they come down under control. They're not taking extra steps. Step down and right back up. So make sure they're very efficient with their steps, not you know, wasting any energy, stepping around and all over. Up, and, up, and, up nice and easy and then down nice and slow. Five seconds. And time. Okay, so now we're going to switch it up. We're going to step up with the left foot. Down with the right foot. Same time, 45 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go.
curls and it makes it spicy. <laughs> I wish I could grow that here. <laughs> So you don't have to blow dry it. Put gel in it. And we have a shit bag for it. My hair, like me, is untamable. Out of control. Carmen, don't say nothing. You're not done with the workout yet. <laughs> yes. All of my clients have learned don't talk shit until after the workout. It's the rookies that tend to say stuff before the workout's over, then they're in trouble. Five seconds. You didn't know, so you just keep it quiet over this. Okay, let's go to the left side. Here we go, left side. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice job, man. Good. Look good. So, really great form with the both of you guys. And again, if it's too hard, if you start off with the weight, whatever you got at home, you start off with that weight. And if it becomes too much after 30 seconds, set the weight down and keep going. Hold one dumbbell, whatever. You want to make it heavier and harder, but you only have a certain amount of dumbbells, the weight of the dumbbells. Get a backpack, pull some books in there, whatever. You got a baby, Have the baby in the front. Let's go, do something though if you want to make it a little harder. There's ways out there you can make it a little more difficult if the dumbbells you have at home are not heavy enough. Five seconds. And time, good. On your butt again, go 30 seconds, Russian twist. One dumbbell, please. Athletics is having a flash sale tomorrow on the 19th. 50% uh, off, I believe, all their t shirts. So if you get a chance, you can go on Instagram, Train Hard Athletics, uh, or their website, trainhardathletics.com. Uh, if you go into my bio on, uh, on my page, Aztec Warrior, you'll see the link. Uh, and they're having a sale tomorrow. So appreciate the small business. They're out of here, out of Covina. Uh, and they're super good people, super nice, super helpful. Uh, they have reposted a lot of stuff for the gym also, so we appreciate it here as well. Uh, but if you get a chance, you want to go on. I know money's tight for a lot of us, uh, but if you get a chance, some good sales, check it out. They have some other stuff also, guys, but they're having a sale tomorrow. Uh, and of course, they'd appreciate your help. So, quick plug really quick. Uh, all right, you ready? All right, so pick up the dumbbell. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. All right, so now we're going to throw them up on top of our shoulders. We're going to go with some air some squats, dumbbells on our shoulders. So, you can rest them on your shoulders like that. You can hold them if you want. That's going to make it a little bit harder. So you can rest right there when we go with some nice squats. Okay? Ready? 30 seconds of squat going. Ready? 3, 2, 1, let's go. So again, their knees are following their toes. And even though they've got weight on their shoulders, I think they've got like 50 pound dumbbells. They look small, but, they're <laughs> uh, but they're still, their technique doesn't change. Okay? No matter whether they're doing it without weight to warm up or they're doing it with their weight as far as the exercise, as part of their workout. The technique always stays the same. Four seconds, three. And we're gonna keep those dumbbells up there. We're gonna go all in reverse lunges. Let's go. Now, when we're doing them with our weights up on our shoulders like this, when it comes to the lunges, it does hit a little bit differently. Okay, if we're letting our dumbbells hang down here, the weight is carried a little bit differently. It makes the exercise a little bit easier in comparison to having them on our shoulders. Okay? When they're on our shoulders, they're weighing us down. We feel that pressure, which obviously makes the workout and the exercise a little bit more difficult. 15 more seconds, guys. 
So whether you want to start them out here on your, on your hands down here or up on your shoulders like this, if you want to make it a little bit harder, you can hold them right here in front, not rest them on your shoulders. That's an option too. And time. Okay, now we're going to hang those dumbbells down here. We're going to hold them by the ends. And we're going to go with some sumo squats. So hang the dumbbells like this. Hold on like that. Just like there you go. Feel how nice and wide. We're going to point those toes out. Make sure the toes are even. So if one toe is out this way, make sure the other one is even. Don't have one like this and one like this. Make sure they're both even. From here, squatting down, pushing those knees out to follow those toes, dumbbells hanging here. Push up to those heels and right back up. So here we go, 45 seconds. Sumo squats, three, two, one, let's go. Push those knees out when we're doing those. We want to make sure we get those knees out to the side. If it feels like you feel like you cannot get those knees to fall on the toes, Maybe your feet are a little bit too wide, bring them in a little bit. Yeah, here come the names. That's 
45 second break on this one. We're going to our last circuit. Yes, Carmen, four. straight one leg bent. She's going to try to pick a bolt up. And you're just going to keep one knee on the ground. She's going to like to help her get up. So both legs are going to be helping her get up. So here we go. We're going to go 30 second hold. Ready? Three, two, and up. Oh, that's good stuff. How's that feel? <laughs> Push higher enough. Push up through there. There you go. Squeeze. There we go. 15 seconds. Nice, Carmen. Nice. Okay. Ten seconds. Uh oh, someone's shaking over here. Hang in there, Carmen. Come on. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. 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 Squeeze. Five seconds. Four. Three. It's a long five seconds. And time. All right. Let's go to the other side now. Same thing. So come over this side over here. Carmen, you come over here. All right. So now we're going to our left side. Same thing. So left leg on top. Don't be afraid to put that, that left leg, that left foot on there pretty good. Okay, it doesn't have to be just the foot on the, on the side. You want to bend that right to your other foot. Pick your elbow back so you're more straight. Okay. All right, ready, Carmen? All right, ready? 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 And here we go, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, up. There. Now, Carmen obviously is using all of her left inner thigh to hold herself up. But Adriana is using her right knee to help push herself up. Okay? We still want to make sure that she's getting pressure to the inside of that left leg. So I really want her to concentrate on that left foot, the left leg, even though the right leg is helping her. Okay? Did you feel it in there on the inside? You sure? It's okay to talk. It's okay. <laughs> Hang on, come on, back up. Just hold your right leg. Use your right leg. Use your right leg. And time. All right. Okay, stay right there, ladies. Both heels are on the bench. Let's get close. We're do some hip thrusters. Throw it down in this position. Do some hip thrusters. Alright, here we go. We get our butt nice and close to the bench. Heels on top of the box. So right there. Right there. Hands out to our side. Here we go. We're gonna go through two legs up and then switch off with one leg each. So here we go. Hands out to our side, hip thrusters, up and down. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. And again, we want a straight line from our knees all the way down to our shoulders. Perfect. So actually we're gonna do five exercises and then instead of half. So Yes. Here we go. Five seconds. 
and time. Cross the right leg over the left. And here we go, left leg only. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. Now we're going single leg, so obviously this is going to be harder. Take your time, get good extension, those hips up as high as you can. Nice and slow, up and down. Good, come on, hang in. in 10 seconds. Boss baby's on. Olivia's uh -oh. watching. Careful, Olivia's the toughest critic. Sit there and eat her food and just look and say, she's not happy. Don't believe him. She's at home clapping like she oh. always does. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, and one time. Okay, so now I'm going to have them stay right here. I'm going to have them put one leg on either side of the box. Turn it back on just a stitch. They're going to swing that dumbbell back behind their head. They're going to come all the way up, and they're going to stay on the box and go down without it. And they're going to come back up, grab it, and go back down with it. So swing it up. We'll do a practice right here. Swing it up, sit all the way up, swing it up, set it down, and back down without it. Back up. And simple as that. So here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. So simple. So simple even you can do it. Let's go dumbbell up. <laughs> okay, since it's all right here, just use the equipment you got, right? Good. Exhale up. <laughs> you want to make this a little bit harder? Don't take the dumbbell behind you. Keep it all over your face. That's what Carmen's going to do right now, just like that. Two. Olivia wants to know when the baby and me class is going to be on the air. Then she'll come and join. I have a baby. I'm going to get pregnant. Uh, I don't think that's what you meant. <laughs> 15 seconds. Go, ladies. Up. Oh. Yes, I did. Do this for a minute. Five seconds. Three. Go up, grab the double. Hurry up. And time. All right, let's get a little break. We're going to do it again. Starting off with those uh, the, uh, the races, the other two races. If you haven't done these before, as far as the adductor races we're about to decide, those are great. Remember, when we do our lunges and our squats and our slide lunges and our Romanian deadlifts and our single leg deadlifts and all that other stuff, you're not really working the inner part of your thigh, inner part of your legs here. And that's just as important, okay? Even if you're doing the booty bands here and all that stuff, great. Work on the legs, work on the outer part of the legs, work on the glute, gluteus minimus, perfect, okay? But you need to work the inside too, so these are great for it. Here we go, back to the side. Don't be afraid to get a lot of that ankle and stuff on that box too. Uh oh, Boss Baby wants to join the live video. Alright, so here we go. <laughs> and ready to go. Here we go, ready? And we're going to go up and hold. 30 seconds. 3, 2, 1, let's go up. hips as high as possible. And if this is, again, too difficult, even with that knee, we can go down and up and do raises, okay? Again, concentrating on the inside. For her right now, <laughs> right leg. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to switch up to the other side now. That was a false alarm. Olivia pressed the button, disregard. <laughs> All right, so here we go on the left side. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Up. Good. Good. You want to make this a little 
harder too. Like I said, if you have both legs out straight, both up, you can put a dumbbell on that hand and kind of weigh yourself down a little bit more. Or you know, someone that doesn't like you, push down on those hips here, force you down. Seven seconds. Three, two, one, and down. Hit, go with both heels across the box. Hip thrusters. Here we go. Quickly, three, two, one, and go. Up and down, let's go. Right to hip thrusters, hands off to our side, squeezing. And like we talked about before too, I like the heels and the feet on top of the box, not on the edge of the box. And the reason why is because I like my clients to feel that they're not only just pushing their hips up and down, and pushing up and down through the heels, but they're also having to pull that box in towards them as they push up. So they get a little bit of the double work. As you can hear Carmen say, she's getting a little bit of that double work, and that's what we're looking for. Okay, right leg over the left. And here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Is it harder? Yes, it is harder, but it's going to give yourself a really good workout, a really good push up in the back of that hamstring. Up, come on, come on. And we're almost done here. 15 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. God, here we go again. <laughs> Corny Instagram fitness related motivational post you want to use. I don't care. Just get it done. Come on, halfway there. 15 seconds. Let's go. Up, squeeze it. Up, come on. Up and down. Let's go. Yeah, thank you. Come on. Hang in there. Hang in there. Come on, Jenny. You got it. Finish it. Let's go. Three, two, and time. Okay, let's roll their abs now. Grab the dumbbell. Last one, last ab exercise. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Get it down, come down without it, go back up, grab it.